Hi, Cancerians. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's see what's going on with my beautiful and my handsome Cancers. Okay. Let's see what's going on with my beautiful, my handsome Cancers. I just saw birth here and poor health. I don't know, some of you guys are sick. You could be giving birth to a baby, maybe you don't feel well. With the poor health card, it's like they're holding their head on that card. <clears throat> so you could be having migraines or you're suffering from headaches. Maybe it could be because you're pregnant. Or maybe you need to go to the doctor if you're pregnant. Not to scare nobody, honey. Just go to the doctor or something, <clears throat> something like that. Or somebody else is fucked up. Excuse me. Sorry in advance for the, the coughing and the cackling and the readings because my son gave me something. So, excuse me. But yeah, some of you guys could maybe need to see the doctor or something like that just to make sure you and your baby are okay or whatever so let's see thank you guys for your love your support your donations and your super thanks i'm sending all that love back to you all tenfold okay cancer so let's see what's going on with y'all all right let's see Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Cancerian and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from my Cancerians and protect me as I channel the messages for Cancer. I rarely ever catch colds, honey. But my son, he's been all in my face. We've been kissing on each other. It's just... Oh, Lord. So, let's see. I feel like somebody... <clears throat> excuse me. Somebody ghosted your ass, and you blocked them. It's like, bitch, ain't no more ghosting. <laughs> like, you can stay ghost. What's going on here for cancer? Yeah, so we have divine connection here, miracles, magic, and then we have hot mess, <clears throat> disorderly habits, untidy mind chaotic messy situation feeling miserable and unhappy being irresponsible okay betrayal deceit jealousy so if you see somebody right now here that's going through a problem going through an issue they look a mess. They are a mess. I feel like it's because they betrayed you. They're getting karma. This is what I'm getting from that automatically. While you over here enjoying your connection with your divine counterpart or whoever you're with, honey. So somebody is going through it and you over here enjoying your time, Cancer. Yeah, look, ten of cups and the lovers. <laughs> you, you, you with your person? Yeah, or you're in a divine connection of some sort of faded connection that's just meant to be. Period. Okay, what's divine connection here? The sun reverse. So yeah, somebody had high hopes for something and they've been let down. It could be a Leo. You could be on the cusp of Leo here. <clears throat> so somebody's oppressed, they're stuck, they're unhappy. There will be no victory. There's nothing here. Somebody's like, they stuck. What's divine connection with the sun reverse? Four wands in reverse, child, and the Empress reverse. Taurus, Libra, Aries, Venus, we got Leo. <clears throat> so I feel like somebody here is in a, in a is in a dysfunctional family dynamic with someone that can't create or they're not fertile. They can't um keep up with a home. I feel like somebody is messy or they live in a junky ass home. They're with a false, somebody's like with a false empress, but they could have jilted this relationship. 
Or maybe you left something behind that kept you blocked and oppressed. It was stopping you from getting to your divine connections here. <clears throat> Somebody is trying to block your ability to create a family, to have a stable and, and um, nice home. To block your... Like, somebody here tried to try that shit. What's the damn sun reverse? Yeah, the tower. What's the sun reverse with the tower? Scorpio Aries energy. Oh, okay, yeah. And the eight of wands and the page of pentacles reverse. Oh, okay. So somebody's black ass magic is going back. It's going back. So now somebody else is, is infertile or they're stuck. They're trapped. They can't do something. <clears throat> Libra Saturn here. Yeah, two of cups. This is because somebody is bitter as fuck. They're so bitter. Or oh, for some of you guys, the tower is you reconciling with somebody. You can have unfinished business with someone. That's your divine counterpart. But I feel like you've healed or you've gotten over something. <clears throat> and for whatever reason, this shit is causing a tower. This could just simply be somebody that's just like holding a grudge. They're holding on to a lot of trauma or... Just this fucked up energy towards your ass. And I feel like you never gave a fuck. So what's the four of wands in reverse? Yeah, page of cups. What's the four of wands reverse, page of cups? The double reverse. Yeah, so you detach from something and you're getting good news. Some of y'all could actually be pregnant, cancer. <clears throat> And if somebody try to plan your sacral chakra energy, fuck with your fertility, or block you in any shape, form, or fashion, they ass is getting that shit in return. And it don't have to be a baby in there. In their case, it could just be everything sacral chakra wise is blocked. Their connections, <clears throat> their fucking, their ability to be able to create anything is blocked. They're experiencing a lot of delays and setbacks. They ass won't be traveling nowhere either. They won't be getting nowhere. Somebody has been trying to cause delays and setbacks in your life here. And I feel like they've been blocking an important manifestation. So it's getting ready to backfire. You've detached from something toxic or this could be your own toxic behaviors. So now I feel like you have good news. And because you have good news coming in here, somebody else is losing shit. <clears throat> Their life force, because the sun is vitality, it's oppression. Their life force, energy, everything is being drained. Somewhere with some some damn body. What's the Empress reverse? The Six of Pentacles. Taurus Moon. What's, what's the Empress reverse? Six of Pentacles. The Hierophant in the reverse. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Somebody here could have joined a cult or a coven or something like that to help them out with their stability, their security. But now that shit falling apart. Somebody's like stuck in their ways with the higher in the reverse. But this could be you where you're rebelling against something. You're not conforming to something. You're doing things that's going against like societal norms. <clears throat> You could have a secret admirer here too, Cancer, but somebody here doesn't like like the fact that you... There's a secret admirer here that you have and somebody's like jealous of that or they don't want you to have that. Maybe this Empress in reverse is somebody weird as baby mama. I don't know. Let's see. What's the... What's this Six of Pentacles? There's a contract here that's over. And I feel like now something is balanced. So something is blocking whatever you, whatever move you've made has broken some sort of like curse or something here is broken off of you. Yeah, look, Ten of Swords. Maybe you've done some sort of work here to unbind yourself from something or this is you doing the internal work. I feel like you're preparing for your manifestations, just period. It's like somebody here did the most just for nothing. They didn't get anything. What's hot mess? <laughs> the nine of pentacles. What's hot mess here with the nine of pentacles? So yeah, this is you free. 
and the temperance yeah protection divine intervention i feel like with the temperance is here twice with the um tower so there's balance here and restoration this is you alchemizing as well with the temperance like you're in good balance here the nine of pentacles i feel like you're free from something and you handle something with such grace like you're unbothered as fuck <clears throat> You could be an earth angel here, but I see a lot of protection around you. The Nine of Pentacles, this could be too around a business of yours. Some of y'all could be starting a business. Or your business that you already have is leveling up here. This Nine of Pentacles too, you could be pregnant. Or you could have given birth to a baby, so congrats. Or this is birth to a project <clears throat> that's getting ready to level up pretty fast. Yeah, Nine of Cups and the Lovers, exactly. Definitely an engagement announcement or a pregnancy announcement. This could also be fame, recognition, rewards. Maybe you're with somebody that's famous or they're y'all are meant to be this star couple. But yeah, I feel like you're being pampered. Definitely having some good sex. Okay, period. What's the nine of pentacles? Yeah, the magician. So your manifestations are coming through. This is you being able to see something. Yeah, something is coming to a complete end for somebody. Because they trying to do this shit to you. I feel like they've been fucking with your health. 1122 on the timer. I feel like they've been fucking with your health here. Your vitality, your energy, especially your sacral chakra. And now the shit is going back. 1133 on the timer. The cherry reverse, the high priestess reverse, the justice reverse. Yeah, you bitches getting ready to get slapped. <laughs> it don't have to be by this person. It's going to be by the Lord. They getting ready to whoop your ass, period. Somebody here getting ready to be broke. There's a, a complete end coming to somebody here with their finances. Somebody could also be sick. Five of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. And whatever you're manifesting is coming through. Whether it be a baby, a new business idea, whatever the fuck it is. This could be also your, um, your psychic abilities here and your awareness here, like heightening. <clears throat> But yeah, I feel like it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You worked hard for something. So whoever got a problem, oh the fuck well, what's the temperance? <clears throat> the two of wands here and the five of wands in reverse. Yeah, peace and harmony is being restored into your life because you done freed yourself from this drama. You don't got time for this shit at all. At all. Mm. so yeah <laughs> i don't know what else to say two of wands is this could be you planning for your future or you're anticipating something or waiting for something i don't know maybe somebody's waiting for you to go back and forth with them i feel like that's something you're definitely not doing so i don't know yeah i feel like you made a decision to leave something behind or what's two of wands aries mars leo saturn Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Seven of Wands reversing the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I feel like something is unblocked for you here. If you are planning a family cancer, I feel like it's coming through. The Ace of Swords, yeah, because you're with the right person. The Ace of Swords with the Emperor and the Moon. I feel like you're with the right person here. For some of you, there could be an unexpected pregnancy. Like, I don't know. Some of y'all don't see that you're pregnant, but you are. <clears throat> so congrats, like I said. But this Ten of Cups is definitely wholeness, is completion, is bliss, happiness, a faded and divine connection here. Two of Wands is a partnership. Yeah. This could be marriage and family. I feel like this Seven of Wands represents you being unblocked. There's something unblocked here. It just is. Yeah. Or this is you, maybe you surrender something in order to find your peace and happiness in... I feel like once you surrender something, you found somebody. <laughs> like you found someone. Yeah, two of cups. In the strength, very strong partnership. You and this person could, could overcome anything together. Yeah, so let's see. What's the betrayal, deceit, jealousy? The moon. So yeah, secret jealousy, a secret betrayal. Like somebody's a loser. And then I guess they're going to be secretly running around here with no home, no car, no love, no nothing. They're just raggedy. I mean, shit, we could all do shit in secret. I like secret. <laughs> I like secrecy. 
I don't want none of you hoes knowing my business. I put out there what I want people to know. What's the betrayal with the moon? Yeah, look, the Ace of Wands here and the damn Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody's hiding the fact that they were playing around in your sacral chakra, like I said, with the Ace of Wands. Or this is like, um, okay, I can't look at it, look at it no other way. Somebody's energy siphoning. Ace of Cups in reverse is unrequited love. Yeah, somebody was taking advantage of you. In the karmic cycles that you was going through, they were siphoning from your energy because you were indulging in unrequited love situations. And that, that's what was blocking your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra could have been blocked here for a while because you were indulging in an unrequited love situation here, period. In the moon, somebody here was secretly siphoning from you. Now they ask, yeah, now the shit going back. I'm telling you, bro, it's going back. And that's why something about a baby or a family is coming through because you need that. Your sacral chakra needs to be in balance for you to meet the love of your life and for you to actually make a baby. Like, somebody been trying to fuck with your health with a weak ass. So don't be surprised when they ass is sick. Not like the little cold that I got, because this is nothing. I feel great. I can still get up here and do readings. I'm cool. Somebody else could be sick like they're dying sick. What's the moon? Yeah, look. Five of Pentacles. I'm telling you, bro. What's the moon? Five of Pentacles. And the fool. Uh. Yeah, some of you guys have freed yourself from something, whatever was restricting you or keeping you sick or blocked or whatever this is. Yeah, I feel like you freed yourself from something and left something out in the cold secretly, silently, and you're doing something else with the Ace of Wands. What's the Ace of Wands? Yeah, the Justice. They ask getting bad karma. Libra energy. And somebody refuses to take accountability either. What's the Ace of Wands with the Justice Reverse? Yeah, Three of Pentacles in Reverse. Six of Wands Reverse, Nine of Pentacles Reverse. Working with other people to take from you. A group of people with ill intentions. All because they don't want to be lazy and they don't want to have to deal with some karma. So they decided to siphon from you. Is what I'm getting. And they're hiding this with their loser ass. What's the damn Ace of Cups in Reverse? Two of Swords in reverse. What's Ace of Cups reverse? Two of Swords reverse. Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Libra Moon, we got Virgo. So yeah, I feel like once again, this is you being unblocked from something because you did the inner work. You mastered something about yourself. There's a lot of information getting ready to come out. This could be a lot of information coming out at somebody's job. Maybe you're going to find out something while you're at your job. Or maybe you do work where you uncover something. I mean, uncover things. Maybe you're, you work for the FBI or... I don't know. Yeah. So something is being uncovered. Or you've made a clear decision with the two of swords in reverse. You realize something. Mm, yeah, celebrations. Free flowing. This could be too a lot of repressed trauma. That's their energy. That repressed trauma and pain, that's them. It's like they, for some of you, this person here binded you. They were blocking your manifestations all while obtaining your manifestations. While they was giving you theirs, so you could have felt stuck or trapped for a while, they were taking your blessings. And now it's getting ready to go back. <laughs> Yeah, the sweet life, period. Because that's exactly what the fuck you're going to be living. Deception and trauma. Exactly. What, what's this? Limited. Second house. Yeah, they're losing money. 
Efforts may be scattered. <clears throat> Reassess your goals. Investing in things not bearing fruit. Stop investing in things that are wasting your time. Your relationship is not worth your time and effort. <clears throat> Reconsider choices. Stubborn mindset. Thinks, think, thinks they know better in ego. This could be you. Where you was in your ego heavy. Your ego was blocking a divine connection. Mm -hmm. So you had to break free from that. But this could be this bitch right now. They were just benefiting off of you being your ego. So we got 12th house here, sacrifice. We got guidance. <clears throat> Connected to divine opportunities for spiritual growth and introspection. Compassionate and sensitive to needs of others. Strong artistic expression. Deep connection to subconscious mind. Emotional healer. Unconditional love. Therapist, counselor, writer, musician, and intuitive. Mm-hmm. What else? The sweet life. It came right on back out. Yeah, and then we have family bliss at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Savoring this Aquarius energy. So it says savoring sweet moments, getting what you want, enjoying little things, rewarded for good behavior, healthy indulgence, people finding you sexy and attractive, multiple suitors and offers. Then we have family bliss, bottom of the deck. Cancer energy. Surrounded by people who bring joy, strong bonds with children, children thriving in their studies, deep connections, completion of cycle, strong, loving partner, family stability, happiness, new member of family, increase in funds, vacation, and increase in savings, period. Yeah, you're getting ready to see something progress in your life. Wherever you were stuck at, wherever you felt like you couldn't get, get, you're getting. <laughs> That's just period. So if you see this bitch over here falling apart, they can't seem to do anything or they're stuck, they're trapped. It's because they're getting karma. Because of their hateful ass ways. Hmm. So anyways. <clears throat> this was your reading, Cancer. I hope this reading gave you a lot of clarity. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I'll talk to y'all later. 222 on the timer. Bye, cancer.